Hi guys, I am going to do an unboxing video. So I've got this box here. It has my Christmas present in there for my mother. Um, I decided to open it up on my channel because it's, I knew what it was, I ordered it myself. Uh, my mom gave me some money and said, order what you want. And so I did. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. I purchased this stuff from Heather, my friend Heather, um, who is selling it for a friend of hers. So, I've already taken a few things out of this box because some of the stuff in the box was for my son's Christmas present. Oh, I like those with his Christmas present too. So let's set those up to the side. Um, I'll take out this thing. This isn't for my dolls. This is for my daughter's dolls. Uh, my daughter has Emily. And we have Emily's. Meet the accessories. So we've got Emily's white sweater, her dog tags, her ration book, and then her photo album. With some of the photos in it. Um, I'll have to go ahead and put that in the bags that I usually put my daughter's stuff in. Um, it's just missing her coin, so I'll have to try to track that down. But I think that's all that's missing from the accessories. And for Emily, my daughter did not have the meat accessories, so I'm glad to finally get those. Um, this I did purchase for myself. These were the only two things that I was missing from Felicity's Christmas outfit is her choker. It's a blue ribbon with a um, oblong like pearl choker and then the blue ribbon that match I have everything else for the Christmas outfit except for these two so I was able to purchase those and then I went ahead and purchased these because I thought they were super cute um, I got some blue or turquoise glasses um, I might end up putting these on Hari because they're more boyish than I have the other glasses that I have on hand, the other glasses are more purple than blue. So these might go to Hari. And the ones that go to Hari may actually go to the doll that is in here. So all of my dolls, my contemporary, that might give you a hint. And girls uh, are truly me dolls. Um, they may, they're all going to have glasses. Um, I also purchased this from her. Now, this isn't an American Girl outfit. This is an Our Generation outfit. And I have been wanting it, and I wanted it when it came out, and I could not find it anywhere in my store. And I was a little upset. Then everybody's like, oh, it's been retired, and I gave up on it. And I was talking to Heather about it, and she's like, oh, my gosh. I literally just, oh, like, her and I were talking about it, and 10 minutes later, she's like, you'll never guess what I found. Um, going through the box was for her friends. So this is an Our Generation outfit, and I absolutely love it, and you'll see why in a minute. So we've got this beautiful um, mustard yellow orangish skirt with a gold tool overlay. And then the waistband is gold embroider elastic. Um, it comes with two turquoise flats. Um, they're just plastic flats that have like a star embossment on them. There are these really cute purple tights and I like the way our generation makes their tights um, they're not as tight as American Girl ones are and to me they hold better um, like the waistbands they just seem better made in my opinion than the actual American Girl ones then here is the headband it is a knit headband with um, Yellow, orange, blue, violet, like a teal, pink um, design knit into it. And then it's mainly purple and it's got these two flax wooden buttons. And this, guys, is why I got it. The shirt is this really cute knit pink, or not pink, purple knit shirt with this adorable kitty face on it. And the kitty face is like velvety. I mean, like, Heather and I were talking about this because she's like, that's one of the few Our Generation outfits that she has because she thought it was so cute. And she's not even a cat person. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I go, I really wanted it. And I couldn't find it anywhere around here. 
and then people said that they couldn't find it anymore and then somebody contacted um, our generation and they were told that our generation had discontinued it so I gave up on it I wasn't paying eBay prices on it because eBay prices these outfits sell for ten to sixteen dollars um, at Target and eBay prices on it were going up to like thirty forty dollars um, there was a case that there was fifty dollars plus shipping so I wasn't about to pay that for it now this may give who is in the bubble wrap away because this is her dog so it's a cute little Dalmatian dog so white with black spots and then his magnetic toy is this cute little um, movie clapper and it holds on to his mouth so like I said this may give away who this is and this is one of the contemporary dogs so you guys know me I buy the pets to go with all my named dogs so I do have I was missing one pet well I'm missing two pets I'm missing Addie's bird and that's more so because right now I have not found Addie's bird in a price range that I'm willing to pay I am not going to pay $95 for a little bird that's about this big in a plastic cage. Um, so if I find one for a good price and I have the money at the time, oh, you know I will be all over that. But for now, yeah, not so much. Um, but I did, I was missing one of Felicity's pets. I have two of Felicity's pets. Felicity had three. And I have... I found the one at a decent price, so I purchased it. I'm just waiting for it to come. Um, and I have Molly's dog. I have, I got from Heather, Samantha's dog. Um, I need one of Kirsten's cats. I only have one of, I only have the kit. I need the kitten. I have Mama Cat. Um, I have, okay, I have all Felicity's. I have Samantha's. I have Molly's. I'm missing one of Kirsten's and I'm missing Addie's. Um, but then, like, my girls of the year that I have, I have all of their pets. So, <sighs> Carissa has her llama, and I have the llama. Um, Leah has her turtle, a sloth, and some kind of cat, and I have all three of them. And then Grace has her dog, Bon Bon, and I have Bon Bon. So, when I got this doll, and Heather had the dog... I bought the dog with the doll. Let's do the unveiling. Most some of you might know who it is. Some of you may not know who it is. So for those of you that do not know who this is, welcome Z Yang. She is one of the two contemporary dolls that American Girl came out with. Um, she's really pretty. I I never got to see her in person. And from pictures, I always thought she was eh. Then I started falling in love with her because I like the idea, like my um, Truly Me dolls, that I can have her. Like, she does have her own collection, but I can also put her in Truly Me clothes. So another girl to put in Truly Me clothes. Um, and... So that's why I decided to go with her because I was going to get a doll... I was thinking I was possibly going to get Gwen Curse's friend, but then I decided to go with um, Z because Carissa is a blonde hair. I think she has blue eyes, classic mold. And while I do eventually want to get Carissa and Sonali for, um, I want to say Kirsten for Carissa, but. <sighs> Eventually. Sonali is a pipe dream. I just cannot justify those prices right now. Anyways, I wanted some diversity. And then when Heather had Z, Z was at a fantastic price. And um, Z was at a great price. And I'm like, Z is less common than Gwen is. I have Gwen's full meat. And in reality, there is a truly me doll that... No, she has brown eyes. She has blonde hair, brown eyes with bangs. They do have a Truly Me that is a classic mold with brown hair, bra or blonde hair, brown eyes, 
with bangs. Um, the only way to tell the difference is how the bangs come out in the wig. That's the only way to the, tell the difference. So I'm like, worst case scenario, I'll just go ahead and buy that Truly Me doll and make a Carissa look-alike, or not Carissa look-alike, a uh, Gwen look-alike because I have her complete meat outfit. And this one is harder to find. So welcome Z to our group. She will keep her name Z. Um, I will do a video just of Z in another video so this one doesn't get too long. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you all later. Bye!